Hi, I'm Kara from the BASIS Audio for Everyone team. In this video, we will be looking at the new rendering options that got introduced with Pro Tools 10. Let's first listen to this section of our session. Okay, so let's say that I would like to create some variation after this beat break here on the B3 track by reversing the audio clip in here. So I will first select the clip, go into the Audio Suite menu and choose the Reverse Audio Suite plugin. As you can see down here, there's the new render feature that allows me to either decide on whether I would like to apply the Audio Suite effect on the whole parent file or just add a few seconds of handles to the rendered clip in case I decided to trim the beginning or end of the clip by a few seconds later on while working on this clip. Or I can just type in zero in here to get the old style behavior of previous Pro Tools versions and just render the selected portion of my clip that I'm using in this particular section of my track. I will go ahead and choose two seconds for now and render. Let's hear the result now. So let's say that I like it and I want to extend my selection to the next bar now. Unfortunately, since I have only asked Pro Tools to render 2 seconds of handles, I'm only able to extend at this point my rendered clip by 2 seconds. So let's undo what we just did and re-render the clip while choosing instead either a longer value for the handles or just go ahead and render the whole parent file so we don't worry about how far it is going to extend our rendered clip. So now I'm able to extend my clip all the way to here. Let's listen to the result now. On a side note, you might have noticed that when I first opened the Reverse Audio Suite plugin, the default value of the handles was set to 2 seconds. You can choose another default value if you wish to do so by going into Setup, Preferences, then go to the Processing tab and then choose Default Handle Length and type in a new value or just go for the whole file option that will become your default Audio Suite plugin render behavior. So now if I go again and choose my reverse Audio Suite plugin, I can see that now the whole file is selected to be the default behavior of my render. 